Come join us on our little weekend motorhome adventure as we take the caw boat on Monterey Bay. Well, hello and welcome to Monterey. This is the Monterey Breakwater Cove Marina. So here's what the rules are if you bring your motorhome down here. To the left where the motorhome is parked, you're allowed to park it on that line right there. Where the trailers are, you're not allowed to park it. Um, they charge $2 per hour here. So we're paid up until 3 p.m. today. But just look at this, this is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna actually launch the caw boat today and uh, we're not gonna take it out on the main ocean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it around the marina area and then just outside the marina, there is a pier. And so we're gonna go around and uh, paddle it as well there. We were talking about using an electric motor. We're not sure if we're gonna use that or not. So uh, come with us and join us. Okay, we're ready to go. It is a gorgeous day. And the nice thing is, is once we get out there, we'll be able to remove our masks. So we're doing this without the motor. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so far success. I tell you, that is a very interesting thing to put it in with that water moving up and down. I mean, it really rolls, look at that. It's all in the timing because you can see how it's really breaking there. Yeah, it's a whole different thing here compared to a lake. So we're finding that these kayak paddles are not big enough with the seating. So we're just kind of going one side at each. So if you're going to do kayaking, you probably want to have like, a longer paddle for a caw boat. Very interesting though, but we're just taking it easy here. We're learning so much, it's amazing. So, so far, even though we haven't gone very far, I mean, we've only gone, I would say a couple hundred yards from where we launched the boat. We already have action here, people. We got, we got a lot of cool stuff going on here. I love Cindy, did you see the sea lion here? He's kind of right on a little, his own little perch there. Really quite something. What a great opportunity. No masks either. And we're here in December. Can you believe it? Isn't that just crazy? Get a close up here of the kelp. You can see all the kelp here. Sea lions, I hate to say it, they have bad breath. Now this, these guys are looking around here. Maybe they're looking for a handout for fish. They are all grouped together, which is really amazing. But um, they, they don't really smell that great. I'm kind of surprised. Are you surprised, Sid? I guess maybe just because the way the, the wind is coming in. Look at these guys. They're just, boy, what a conversation. Boy, stuff like this, I, I have to say, is actually a little bit better than the aquarium. Oh, there's somebody fighting it out there for, for positioning there. One's pushing down. Oh, and they both went down. The other one got up above. They're trying to fight for position so they can just lay out. Some of them get way up there. I, it's amazing how, how high up on the rocks they get. And then the birds just sort of negotiate and they kind of go in between. Here's some other kayakers. You don't want to get too close. They're in their natural habitat here. So you don't want to mess them up or have them attack. You know, if they want to pop up because they're curious, that's fine. Like there goes one. It sounds like this lady giving a personal tour is what she's doing here. For us, we're just amused. Any little thing here amuses us. So we'll take it in stride. Mr. Sea Otter. We're going to see if we can't get a little closer to Mr. Sea Otter here. Oh, listen, listen to me cracking. I've never heard that before. Look at him. And what they'll do is they'll put a rock on their belly and then they'll go under and they'll get the other piece and then they crack it on there. Isn't that hilarious? I've just never seen it. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. So we're going to try to go around this little island. Well, you can feel the waves now starting to make their move here. You don't realize it when you're in the middle, 
but when you're on the edge here around the corner you're like whoa so we have to kind of watch how close in we get I was wanting to try to go around I see one piece pop up there I don't know what the rest is but we're gonna attempt it anyway it's a good thing it's not low tide because uh, we'd be scraping really cool though the water's pull pulling and pushing us uh oh evasive maneuvers is the wharf so and they got a lot of boats parked over there I remember last time there was a lot of boats parked because we had walked the wharf all the way to the end so people can pick up supplies or whatever that's how people get to and from their boats so kind of cool so we're on the other side now of this little harbor you can see the harbor wall to protect the boats you have to honk your horn actually we did not have a horn to honk so we just scooched in Obviously, they want you to stay away from the pier. You don't want to, in case the waves start to break. Right now, things are very, very calm. And then this is the other side of the wharf. Got some beautiful uh, on-the-water dining here, too. We were talking about if you got here early enough and uh, the spacing is good, you could eat there without having your mask. Oh, wow, look at this jelly. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's going to go under the boat, darn it. Look here. Pull your uh, your uh, paddle in so it doesn't drip, and we'll see if that jellyfish shows up on the other side here. Take a look. And where did he go? The jellyfish that got away, ladies and gentlemen. Really beautiful though here. So calm. And again, what an opportunity and looking at it from a whole different point of view, which is you're on a boat, you're just kind of messing around here. Just a lot of fun here. Oh, well, look at this side. Well, that's really pretty. It's, it's interesting how all of a sudden the light hits it a certain way and then it gets calm and you can just sort of see underneath. Really beautiful. So we are having such a good time out here and it's only noon and we have the parking space until 3 that we put the trusty motor on. We are concerned we were going to get hit by um, toolies and uh, debris and it's just not happening out here. So Sydney wants to kind of go around this point out here just to kind of come around the jetty just to get an idea of the look. And I think we're, we're confident right now the water's really calm. We're confident that we can get out there and maybe go, I don't know, four or 500 yards and then turn around and then come back. But we've kind of sort of already explored this with the paddles. So we're gonna wanna, we're gonna come over here. We'll get around that corner there so we can get a look at the hotels and maybe from a distance, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. But the winds are very, very light so we figured if we were going to do this, this is the day to do it. All right, it proves that we made it. Monterey Bay, baby. So yes, we have made it. The aquarium actually is just on the other side of that um, island there, that little white island. Um, but yeah, all this here is what they call Cannery Row. And all this obviously is hotels and then there's shopping malls and all kinds of stuff there. So, but that's as far as we can go here in our little Cabo, considering everything. It's pretty cool that we came all the way out here. Seen some sea lions, no whales or anything like that. Whales do come all the way up this way. Um, but uh, this is going to do it for us. So we're going to turn around and uh, again, if we conk out, we have our uh, trusty paddles uh, that we've proven to us that we can actually use which is great. So anyway, we're making the turn and we're gonna head on back. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, it's like Flipper. Little show going on there. 
Oh my word, look at these guys. Isn't that beautiful? People in the background there. Checking everything out. Okay, well, we've got the boat back, and uh, there's Miss Cindy. We actually moved the motorhome from our original point because we wanted more room to work. Uh, but the other thing is, there's really no washout point. This water that you see here is the boats as they come in, it's just all salt water. So what we've learned to do is we've taken the shower head off of our outdoor shower, and we just use this as our way to wash the boat down. So we just simply turn it on, and there we go. So, yeah, so, yeah, so if you come over here, well, we're going to rinse off. Yeah, so we just simply use it like we do a hose at home. And then this way, we can rinse all this salt water off of it. And I can put my finger on it, too, and, you know, like, like you would at home. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it over here. We're a little disorganized. But again kudos again to having a motorhome with you not only can you go to the bathroom not only can you have lunch not only can you do all those things but when you put your car boat away and you're in salt water you can rinse everything off so yeah, yeah we don't want to rinse off the wife so anyway we're going to rinse off the entire boat uh, using our outdoor shower and again all we did was we, we removed the shower head Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. If you get a chance, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.